I'm going home today. Hatim sending me to the bus station. This is Hatim. So yeah, now we're waiting for Amirul. His train is at 2. And now it's 1... 120. And he's just taking a bath. This is why I travel alone. Aku bakar. Baru kan enggak? Wedem. Towers, right, right. Where, where's my finger? The twin towers, and that's KL Tower. And, and. I have to get here. Get to here next, because that's where the train to Surinbun is. But I'll be from here. Now I'm at Bandar Tasik Selatan. This place is huge. I'm visiting my second time here. So, uh, the easy part is done. And next, I have to catch a train. Which is like really tough. Especially now. We'll see. Look at all these people queuing for tickets. To go. I have to get here. I have to go walk all the way here, down a few stairs, and I'll reach it. I'm supposed to get on this train. Nah, I'm gonna go. Here. The trick is 
just always enter the street in the middle. Because then when people start going up, I'll explain later. This is your regular train coach. It has three entrances. Here, here, here. During rush hour, a train will be full. I recommend you enter it from here. If you enter the train from here, the only option for you to get out of this is to go through here. You have to wait for like the people here to go away, go away, go away. So you can like have some breathing space. Same as on the other end of the coach. So you should get in from the middle. When you're in the middle, you can either go here or you can go here. That's pretty much it. There's really nothing special about it. It's just can you have two options if you go to the middle of the train, or the coach of the train, whatever, compared to when you enter it from the front. So yeah, that's it. I'm home now! Hello, Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Driver. My day isn't over yet. Now I've got to pick up my sister. I've picked this sister up. Hello, Dave. Hi. And my day is done. <laughs>